Hi, this is John McCarthy and I'd like to welcome you to the installation portion of our video. I'm going to go over how to uh, uh, prep your saddle horn, how to get it wrapped, and uh, answer a few questions uh, that a lot of ropers have had about little troubleshooting points in, in their installation. Um, I'd like to first and foremost start by saying this, that um, out of all the, the problems that we hear um, that people have experienced with our wraps, I'd say probably 90% or better of them are because they've installed it on their, their saddle horn improperly. So um, make sure you uh, bring this up on your computer and to where you can watch it over and over again as you're uh, wrapping your saddle horn. Hopefully it'll take you through step by step. Again, do not hesitate to call us so if you've got a question on installation. I can usually troubleshoot everything over the phone, different style saddle horns, everything else. We want you to be successful with your wrap installation as we know it'll, it'll make you a customer for life. Um, one thing about wrapping saddle horn, once you figure out your particular saddle, it should only take you a minute, minute and a half to wrap a saddle horn. And it, you're at a rope and the, the wrap is finally giving up the ghost, it should only take you about 10 seconds, 15 seconds to take one off. So it's not like some of the old style uh, rubber that you'd put on where you had to jam some over saddle horn, take you half an hour. Um, it's definitely, if you got one of these sitting in your rope bag like you had a spare rope there at the arena, it's a heck of a lot quicker and easier to put one of these on than have to rebuild an entire shredded saddle horn of tube rubber, build it back up to where it's functional and safe. Um, it's real easy just redoing the whole horn. So let's start by taking a wrap off. We're going to take this off. It's a very, very quick process. Uh, if you wanted to time me, you could. One thing I'll tell you is I'm not going to rush this. I'm going to make it realistic so you can see just how easy it is to undo your entire saddle horn and rebuild it. Just going to pull our keeper straps, our large hole, off the top of the saddle horn, pull it back through the gullet. Just going to sit here and unspin it. And then, of course, we're going to be realistic for total removal. We'll just reach in here and grab this, take this off the saddle horn, chuck it in the trash, grab a new saddle wrap, lay it out, and get ready to rewrap our saddle horn. So that's how long it takes to clean your saddle horn off. All of us that, that have roped on tube rubber, uh, or still do rope on tube rubber, some people out there, obviously it's why we're making this product, um, know how long it takes to carve up all the different old bad layers and rebuild an entire saddle horn fresh and the amount of rubber it takes to do it. So um, it's a very time consuming process. On these green bands, I'm just going to take these off real quick. We put a couple of these in, in uh, uh, each wrap. Um, I want to say you want to use a minimum of one on every saddle horn and a lot of saddle horns you'd use two. So this particular saddle horn we can really use one or two. So we'll just illustrate it with one. So we start with the clean saddle horn. We got our saddle horn completely clean. Um, I'm going to lay my green band here and uh, I took off um, a black night wrap. We're actually going to put on a red horn. It's with a little more color. Um, let you see uh, the different wraps. Okay, here we've taken a brand new red hornet out of the bag. A couple things I want to talk about. These are adjustment holes on the end of the wrap. There's two of them. If you've got a kid's saddle, a saddle with a really short saddle horn, maybe something tilted to the front, you want to just go ahead and use this hole here versus this one. This area of the wrap also, being skinny and with the holes in it, is very easy to stretch. So when you need to make your wrap longer at the end of the, the process, you've got this section here to stretch. First things first here, we've got the holes talked about. This section of our wrap, right here, this wide section, this is a section that, that seals the wrap on the, on the left side of the saddle horn. It completely seals it, keeps your rope from ever going underneath. Um, we'll talk about the start of the wide section, the end of the wide section here in the installation process. And then here we have our final hole that goes over the saddle horn. Uh, when I talk about keeper straps, I talk about the two straps that go around the side of the saddle horn to part of this circle. So anyhow, uh, that kind of describes the wrap. We've got our, our end section with our keeper straps and our hole circle. We've got our, our body of the wrap as I reference this. We've got our wide section of the wrap. We've got the now new tapered section of our wrap that builds up a lot nicer and easier, I might say. And then we've got the adjustment section with the two different holes as well as a skinny part that you can stretch real easy to make it fit almost any saddle. Um, so I lay this out of my saddle horn and how I know I'm starting right is I've got the wide section of my wrap facing away from me. So I just lay it out here. I take the two holes down through the gullet. With this saddle, I'm gonna use the first hole. And this is where I usually start, like I said, unless it's a short saddle horn or maybe a kid's saddle or something like that, I'll just go to the second hole and tuck that out of the way. Now that I've got this through my gullet, um, pull at the front and over the top of my saddle horn. I'm going to take my green band, just put it on here, just do one twist here in the back, pull it around here again, do another twist in the back, and then leave it right there in the center of the horn. These new gel bands that we give in at each of these wraps helps keep the core of our saddle horn softer, absorbs a little bit more shock, and makes the makes rope bite a little bit better. 
Now in starting this wrap out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up here on the back left side of the saddle horn. And again, I use about 6-8 inches of rubber at all times. I keep my left hand here on the swell, and that's what I'll hold this rubber with. So I'll stretch it, pull it, hold it with my thumb, twist the wrap around all the way out the end. I'll pull a little bit of the section, so I'll stretch a little bit, then I wrap. Now on the back side of my saddle horn, I'm going to fold it in half, put a half twist on the back of the horn, and then I'm going to pull by my, put my thumb down, pull by my thumb, and I'm just going to hold it with my thumb. Now this half twist on the back of the saddle horn, what it does is it's going to build up a little shape, a little hump. It's going to give a little, as I call it, a speed bump for my rope to go over, and it just helps with the bite of it a little bit. When I'm coming back around the front, I'm going to come back out smooth. Now as I come back around for this second full wrap, I'm going to come across the back of my cap and I kind of pull it at kind of a downward angle. I come across straight but I pull it at a downward angle and that keeps the back of the horn sealed. And one of the things a lot of people that they do is they'll pull it straight around kind of tighter at the bottom than the top and it leaves a little hole right here, little gaps right here and a lot of people don't like the look of it. It doesn't affect the functionality, they just don't like the look of it. When I come around this, this horn this next time, I'm going to come all the way up here, stretch it a little bit. I'm going to come all the way around my cap. Now this way my entire saddle horn is going to be covered from top to bottom and that way if forever, you know, some reason I get in a hurry or maybe bumble a rope and I'm going back to the horn I just grab it here on the cap which I don't ever try to do but it happens from time to time. It gives a little bit of rubber there and lets it bite. Now as I come around the saddle horn the last time, I just wrap right through the body of the wrap. Now this wide section we talked about earlier, the start of the wide section and the end of the wide section, this wide lip. Um, you can see it's starting out right here on the right side of the saddle horn. Now something I want to talk about, um, every saddle, this is going to probably end up in a different spot here, here, back over here. One thing you need to understand, where this wide section starts needs to be right dead center in the back of your saddle horn. So here I know I'm about two inches, three inches from being to the back dead center of the saddle horn. So I'm not going to try to really uh, overstretch this thing or manhandle it, trying to get it around the back side here. What I'm going to simply do is I'm going to go back to what, the very first wrap? That section of it I told you that's real easy to stretch. I'm going to stretch this section a little bit more. And then as I make my first wrap around the saddle horn, I'm going to stretch this a little bit harder. And then that way, as we come around the horn, instantly I've already created a longer dally wrap. And so when I finish this wrap, I'm going to be closer to being perfect. Now knowing this about this particular saddle um, in the future, when I go to rewrap, it's going to be key. It's going to make things faster. Now here we can see the wide sections way over here versus where it was right here. So as I come around, again, I'm covering from top of the cap all the way to the swell, and I'm finishing up right smack in the back dead center of the back of my saddle horn. So as I come around here now, this wide lip comes out on the swell and seals the entire horn. That way my rope as a header can't get sucked underneath, as a healer it can't get sucked underneath and run as easy. And so this is real key here. It goes from the top of the horn all the way down to the swell. As a healer, one thing I will do is I'll wrap it maybe a little less far out on the swell, and then as I wear this section off, I'll go back and unwrap my wrap, bring it a little further out onto the swell, and then wear some more of this area off, because this is the area of the horn that a healer usually tears up more. And then what I'll do is I'll go back a, a layer, this is a trick for the healers, twist this in half, somewhere over here, come back around, and now the chewed up section of my wrap will be up on top, and I'll use the good part down around the base. So it's just a way to make your wrap last a little longer as a healer. So again, we're going to come around here on the base of the saddle horn. The wide section is now coming out. It's fanning around, sealing the entire saddle horn. And so I'm going to make sure it's all the way out here on the swell. And I know I've got about six, eight inches easy of rubber right here to go down through the gullet and come back out the front. Now one thing when I start down through the gullet, I'm going to work this rubber over here on the back side to where about 50% of it's on the swell, 50% of it's on the horn. I'm going to push the keeper system down inside the gullet and pull it down here out the front. Now one thing I want to talk about, we're not going to go through here and we're not going to take the circle part of this, this keeper system. We're not going to stretch the heck out of it to get it up over the saddle horn and leave these straps tight. If we do overstretch these keeper straps, think about it's like having a tight piece of string and hit with something sharp, it tends to pop. It's going to cut easier, so we want this to go over the saddle horn kind of relaxed. So to get it to fit just right, what we do is we grab inside the circle of the hole like this, and we pull down, making it longer, pulling it out the front to where it's too long here, as you can see, and then we relax it back to where it matches up right here at the lip of the, the wrap. And then we'll just ease it over the saddle horn. 
Now when we ease this over the saddle horn, we're only going to go halfway over the saddle horn. The reason being is, is on this left side, we're going to reach up underneath here, take that wide lip and flip it up. And now we're going to pull this wrap down all the way, but we're going to pull over the top of that little section like this, so this lip is still flipped up. And then when we've completed, get it worked underneath there, we're going to flip it down. And then the last step, we just work our right side down flat, and then we're going to be ready to go rope. The right side, everybody always asks me, does the right side go underneath the, the, the lips? And no, it doesn't. It stays up on top, but it passes underneath right there. So again, let's go through the process from beginning to end. I'm going to pop this off, pull it out, take it off. That was probably more like five seconds. Lay it out of my saddle. I've got the wide section facing away from me, so I know I'm strutting right. Stretch this a little bit, because we know for this particular saddle we need to come up on the left side of the saddle horn. Come right around the middle. Half twist on the back. Come on around again. In the back, we're going to come at a downward angle. Come on around. There's that wide section coming out. It's right here at the back of the saddle horn. Fans on out, seals the entire horn. Okay, and again, here, we want to muscle this here, so we're just going to stretch it out a little bit longer. Come up with it and relax it back. We're going to relax it back till those two lips meet. Pull it over the horn. Flip our left side up. Work the strap over and underneath that lip like such. Flip the lip down, adjust the right side out flat on the swell, and we're ready to go rope. So that's how that completes the installation. Something I want to talk about on the short horns that lean to the front is that you want to start with the second hole, like as if it was a smaller saddle, as well as you want to put your green band, build it up around towards the top of that a little bit to give a little bit of base on the back of the horn to give it more of a straight up and down build. So um, if you do happen to get a cut over here on the side of your keeper strap, and the reason that usually happens is guys will leave this strap up here on the side of their saddle horn like this, and they'll dally over here and they'll cut that. You can simply pop this off, take a pair of scissors or pocket knife, and cut that little nick out and so it's a half circle, and that way it'll keep that nick from ever running. Um, but personally, you want to work it down underneath there, and um, when you're adjusting your wrap, instead of just trying to push down, just pull out wiggle it back and forth and down to where it lays flat and you should never have that problem. On a healer on the back side of the saddle horn, the section rubber that goes back down underneath the gullet, that section of rubber there tends to be the first spot they'll get a nick in and stuff too and you can do the same thing there for trimming out that nick. Um, again the gapping on the back of the saddle horn cap typically is caused from pulling too hard down on the bottom, kind of a low and upward angle, whereas if you pull in a kind of a, an, an upper down and around angle, so just It'll seal the back of the, the horn a little bit better. Um, if you do get a little bit of bubbling here in the right front part of your saddle horn, that's not uh, anything other than that rubber really, really biting and twisting and biting and twisting and giving just a little bit of a pocket. It's okay to have a little bit. If it gets excessive, just go back there and you're going to want to stretch those beginning layers a little bit more and maybe make one more full trip around the saddle horn. And that way it'll be a tighter overall fit on your saddle horn. So you're going to play with that a little bit depending on on the size of your swell and the size of your horn, how many full wraps you get. But it should be, you know, a solid three to five layers thick when you finish wrapping your saddle horn. Again, if you've got any questions after watching this installation video, please call us at 210-823-0565 or 210-823-5386. Uh, second of those numbers will get me direct and I'll be glad to help you uh, uh, with your installation process as I know it'll make you a customer for life once you get it on there right. So thanks again for joining us.